Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Mason African Motives are uh, still working on uh, engineering science N3 so in this platform uh, we are given uh, a consideration on hydraulics that we are going to be focusing on uh, we have a question which is uh, actually on hydraulics so we are given uh, the two that is uh, actually the question uh, is having 11 marks 6.1 6.2 that is uh, and this is from uh, july 2021 if i'm not mistaken there that's july 2021 so let's see actually what we're supposed to do so if you're new you can consider being part of the family by subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having for Amazon african motives so the first part on 6.1 was to name two elementary experiments dealing with pressure in liquids so uh, if you have been part of this family you've seen that we have talked about these ex uh, these experiments actually so i'm just going to give you these experiments so that you can work with them okay so we have got an experiment to show that pressure in a liquid is directly proportional to depth so take note here directly proportional to the depth We've got an experiment to show that upward and downward pressure at a point in a liquid uh, experiment to show that the relationship between directional pressure in a liquid we also have an experiment to show that pressure in a liquid is independent of the shape and size of the container okay so these are the experiments actually uh, that you can take uh, from this concept where we are working with pressure okay so this is where we can apply this concept okay so let's rush through on 6.2 a given so we'll see so here and uh dimbo are three students uh, three student engineers working on a single hydraulic pump and recorded the following information okay so these three guys they are working on a certain uh single active so what is important here it's a single hydraulic pump okay so this is the information that they recorded uh, force on ram okay so remember uh, when you are working with the hydraulic pump we've got the ram and the plunger side okay so here we just uh, need the force on the ram which is 518 newtons and we've got the force on the plunger which is 125 newtons okay so this is our plunger here and this is our ram Okay, so here, uh, this person, there's actually no need for me to redraw, to draw the diagram. Uh, we can actually understand each other from this question. The first question is, calculate the ratio of the diameters of the hydraulic pump. This is the question that I want you to understand here. The ratio of the diameters. How can you calculate the ratio of the diameters? Okay, it's very, very important. Remember that when you are given a hydraulic, a single hydraulic a pump you have the formula that connects the diameters and the forces the force on the plunger and the force on the on the ram so depending with the side that you want you can start with the force on the ram and the force on the plunger still one and the same thing but the, it's f if it is on the ram so it's going to be d squared which is equal to f on the plunger over d squared the diameter on the plunger which is a small letter there if i'm using like that all right so now from this consideration that I'm having, uh, this D is representing for the plunger and this D is representing for the, for the RAM. So I need a ratio of the diameters. So I can take the ratio depending with what I want. I can take this ratio in terms of D, S to D, or I can take a ratio in terms of D, S to D like this. So what is important is for us to know which part are you going to use. So let's find the one of the bigger to the smaller one all right so how can we find d over d which means we have to play with our formulas here guys using your mathematical skills here you can play around this formula so let's play around this formula so we can cross multiply all right which is going to be d squared f is equal to this d and f so it's going to be d squared with small letter f all right so remember we need this condition of d over d this capital letter over the small letter so in order for us to achieve this i'm going to divide here by d squared i'm going to divide here by d squared but if i do this guys see what is going to happen i'm going to cancel here i'm going to be left with f is equal to d squared 
f over d squared like this but there is still this f which is on top so in order for me to remove this f which is multiplying i'm going to divide by f i'm going to divide by f so the moment i divide by f these two can cancel so which means we are now left with d squared over d squared like this which is equal to because these two they are now equal so it's f over f so actually this part you're supposed to know this that this these two they are related like this but i just wanted you to show where it actually came from all right so since we need d over d like this and here there's a squared and there there's a square again so I'm just going to write this from, remember from your mathematics that D over D squared like this is the same as this part because D squared is D squared, D squared is D squared. So that's one and the same thing. You have to raise everything to the exponent of 2 or to the power of 2, which is going to give you F over F. So to remove the square, introduce the square root. Remember that you introduce the square root, which means the square is no longer there. So that means d over d is equivalent to the square root of f over f like that. So if you have the formula, it's now easier because that's what we want. We need to find d over d. So you're going to substitute now f, which is the force that we have on the RAM, the calculator f, which is 580. So you now have 580 here over f which is the force on the plunger which is 125 so you divide by 125 but make sure that this square root covers everything on your calculator there so doing this guys or applying this we are going to have our d over d like this which is equal to okay so if you use your calculator you're going to obtain something like uh, 2 comma 1 5 that's 2, 1, 5, 4, uh, 0, 6, yeah, something like that. So you can round off to three decimal places, which is going to be 154. So it will be 2, 1, 5, 4, like this, over 1. So this is over 1 because we are saying D is to 1, D is to D like this. So it's this is to this. So it means if I am to write this as D is to D like this, it's going to give me, this is our D, 2,154 s to this d which is 1 so this is gonna be your ratio like this so you can write your ratio like this or as a or as a as a fraction but you can mostly ratio d s to d like this so it can be a vice versa we write d s to d the small letter so the bigger is the small letter so it's one and the same thing guys what you are what you're given there but that's how you could have calculated this so okay uh, let's see the other part that we are given, which is on 6.22. All right, so on 6.22, we are now asked to calculate the diameter of the ram if the plunger diameter is 0 0.45 centimeters. Okay, so the plunger we are given is diameter, and remember, I said on the plunger we are using small letters, so which means we are given the small diameter, which is 0 0.45 centimeters so what is going to be the diameter on the ram which means we need this capital letter d okay so you can use this relationship the ratio between the diameters here because this is a ratio between diameters where you can take it from this equation here where we said uh, d over d is equal to 2 comma 154 2 comma 154 over 1 like this all right so I can find the relationship between these two D. So I can cross multiply these two using your mathematical skills. There you're going to obtain 1 times D, which is D is equal to D times this is going to be 2 comma 154 D like this. All right. So using this relationship, we can see that this D on the RAM is equal to 2 comma 154 times the D, which is the diameter on the on the plunger so we are going to multiply 2 comma 154 times the diameter on the plunger which is 0 comma 45 centimeters so if i use centimeters it means i'm going to obtain the diameter on the ram in centimeters if i use meters i'm going to obtain it also in meters because this is a constant value all right 
so when you multiply uh, you are going to obtain something like zero comma that's zero comma nine zero comma nine six nine eight yeah nine six nine eight centimeters all right so that is going to be your diameter there in uh, centimeters okay because we used uh, centimeters there so if you want to convert to meters that means you have to divide by 100 so it's gonna be something like 0 comma 0 uh, 9 it was 9 6 so 0 comma 0 it's gonna be 0 comma 0 again there will be a 0 again like this 0 comma that's 1 2 yeah 9 6 9 8 like this in meters so if you want to use it in meters but you can just leave your answer in uh, centimeters like that there is no problem because already the other one was given in uh, centimeters so you can write the other one also in centimeters okay then on 6.3 you are asked to make a neat labeled sketch a neat very neat labeled sketch to illustrate the application of the pascal's law and take note and briefly explain its application it's not about the diagram but also you have to explain a little bit the explanation there so we need to show uh, the pascal's law okay so how does the application of the pascal's law actually um uh, that's the pascal's law is that so yeah pascal's law so we know that we are going to have something like this uh, let me just uh, draw is they say they need sketch so you're the one guys who is going to do a neater one here yeah, i'm just going to uh, indicate what is what is actually looks like so that um you don't miss this in exam all right so you've got uh, the 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 plunger sorry for that sorry so remember you've got the plunger and uh the ram so the plunger this is our plunger here um, we've got uh, something like this right so that's our plunger so the ram i'm going to use the bigger one because this is the one that is pushing so to be pushed to be it's supposed to be bigger so you're going to have a bigger side here yeah you just draw something which is a uh, neater neater than this all right so this is pushing so this is the one that is pushed so it's supposed to be above somewhere here yeah it's now above guys because it's now it's pushed upwards all right so we are having a certain load actually that we have here that we are actually uh, pushing upwards so this will be going upwards like this so here on the ram side we have a certain diameter that is going to affect the ram on the plunger here we have a small diameter just like what we did and there is a force that is pushing that is going to like this so there is a, a force here all right then here we are taking this upwards it's being pushed upwards so that's w or you can just capital letter f just like what we're doing previously we can use w for that weight component um so that's what we have actually here so the diameters uh, and sometimes you can even indicate the height comp ah, that, there's the, those ones it's, it's a matter of choice when you want to do that but that's what uh, the diagram can look like in a simpler vision okay then we are asked to explain um, briefly the explanation on 6.3 okay so I have uh, this explanation here which is in a simpler vision that uh, the smaller piston which is the plunger like i was explaining is used to apply force that is it's applying so that's why it's facing downwards like this part here this is the one that is applying force okay so into the liquid and the larger piston which is the ram is pushed upwards okay so as you can see this ram is being pushed upwards what is pushing upward this it is the pressure of the liquid why because this is been pushing so the liquid is the one that we are having now here in this liquid the pressure now is the one that is causing uh, that ram to go upwards okay so that's actually the typical consideration that you are having so that is the application of the pascal's law so if you're asked to state this or to explain this you can explain this in a simpler way like this and the diagram you can also draw it in a simpler way like this uh, that's the diagram that you're going to have okay so that's it guys uh, from this 
question uh, that we had uh, for Maison African Motives working on engineering science and three uh, past exam papers. So be part of the family. Just make sure that you subscribe so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Maison African Motives till we meet again.